All right, let's do this. I am officially starting today after somewhat successful two days. Um, I did a lot of meal prepping yesterday um, and I ended up, um, we ended up grilling at Seth's mom's. So I did have some hot dogs. I didn't really eat the bread, but I had some potatoes and I had a cupcake. So I'm being honest, I'm being very transparent and we're going to do this um, weigh in today. 208.4 is the weight. Good morning, I just did my weigh in and I actually weigh less than I weighed on um, Friday. So happy Sunday. I, I literally have been laying in bed um, getting some reading in. I didn't do any of the yard work that I wanted to do yesterday because um, meal prepping actually took a little bit more time than I wanted to. It's about 8.30. I'm not hungry yet, so I'm not going to eat yet. I'm going to go out and start raking the yard. I am going to try to get in a bike ride today and try to stick to my meal plan the best I can. Like I'm going to stick to it. And also I'm going to show you here in a little bit the things that I got um, when I went. I dropped Ian off at Grandma's yesterday while we were in town. He had a sleep He's there right now having a sleepover. And I did stop at Walmart and um, GNC. I had to get some things. So I'm going to show you that little bit of stuff um, later on. These are like um, the clothes that I've bought for like fall and like this this technically could be like winter and I've been I've been wanting to do a clothing haul and wanting to do a clothing haul and I try on and I haven't because I wanted to be perfect and I wanted to lose weight and I wanted everything to look good but this is on the on the agenda for this week to film as well maybe next weekend um it just depends but um yeah, and maybe here in a month or two, I'll do a comparison of how things fit. That, I think that would be fun. Because I am so serious this time. Like, and I hate saying that I'm serious this time. But I am. So let's do this. Day one of completely resetting the keto, low-carb lifestyle. And I'm going to test my blood sugar every morning. And, like, when I'm done, I... I, I I was, I probably ate, stopped eating at like eight o'clock last night. So, um, I, I'm going to still fast. I'm still going to do my fasting and stuff, but yeah, I'll let you guys know when I eat, I'll let you know what my blood sugar is and we'll go from there. But right now I have to go do some yard work. Hi. Hi. Um, I just did a whole bunch of yard work. I trimmed our bushes. I'm tired. And I'm hungry. I think I got in about 14 hours because I ate I ate a snack last night um, with Seth when he got home from work. I had some white cheddar popcorn. So, you know. Um, but I'm not so concerned about the extreme fasting and everything. So, don't look if you don't like blood. I am going to do my blood sugar for the first time in days uh, just because I um, have been really bad so all right let's see what it says Shot. I'm nervous I'm nervous about this guys all right 166 can you see that my blood sugar is 166 i am not gonna lie to you when i say i'm surprised i honestly thought it was gonna be higher than that and <sighs> yeah i'm happy with that it's high yes it's high but compared to what i used to run even a year ago this is great. So I'm going to check this every morning. I might not do it on here or I might, I don't know. Um, but, and then every night, uh, before I go to bed. So now it's time to eat. It's almost 11 and I'm hungry. So 
I'm gonna calculate everything into my um, carb manager and what I'm gonna eat all day and figure out breakfast. All right, I'm finally gonna eat something. I'm kind of going like, I'm going to eat everything that I meal prepped this week. Obviously, like that's my plan. And like all of the snacks that I put out and everything, but I'm kind of gonna rotate days depending on how they work with like, my carbs and everything. So I'm starting off with water and I am going to have for it's about 11 it's 11 08 I'm gonna have this quest chocolate hazelnut that I laid out to eat this week um four net carbs one sugar 14 fiber I don't know if I've ever had this one but I love chocolate hazelnut stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I'm taking a little break and then I'm gonna go, go back out and I think we have a burn barrel back here I think um it was our neighbors, but he's like, go ahead and you can have this one. Um, so our neighbors are super, super awesome. Um, but I'm going to, I think it's like, it's tied to like the fence. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have Ian's like wheelbarrow. I have to take everything over as a busy day. I already have 6,000 steps and I've only been wearing this for like about an hour and a half. So, yeah, I will see you guys later on. Look at this yummy bar. It looks so delicious. All right, as promised, I told you I would show you everything that I got at GNC and Walmart. I will start with Walmart. I picked up some carrots. Um, I'm gonna probably eat these on like my higher carb days. Um, I like carrots <laughs> and they're gonna be really good in like sheet pan dinners. I got some Philadelphia cream cheese. I've been eyeing some recipes on Pinterest and I just kind of want to like play around with it. Um, Kender's wood fired chili seasoning. Excited when I saw this. Um, I had a casualty with it. It's kind of open. I, I did this myself, so I put this in a bag. But as you can see, total carbs is zero. I'm so excited to use that to make um, like just some beanless chili for me. The boys don't really like chili. This is just for me. Some Adkins treats. These are a go-to for me. I always eat the chocolate peanut candies I use these with my trail mix and they actually had the chocolate covered almonds in stock which I never see these anywhere so I got those as well they had a couple zero sugar power aids I was really excited so I picked up three I picked up the white cherry the mixed berry and the fruit punch these are really hard to find right now I picked up some just dry roasted peanuts for trail mix and snacking and things. I picked up some roasted pecans because I want to do something with pumpkin and pecans. And then some salted cashews. And then I saw this and I was really, really excited. And the first thing, obviously, I saw nut pie crust and I went right to the macros. And for one eighth of this crust, it's 11 total carbs, one fiber. Um, total sugars are five, four added sugars, and two protein. Not awful. So much better than just your traditional like pie crust. And I and it's pumpkin spi pumpkin pie spice nut crust. So I was really excited about that. They have some other ones. They have like a pecan crust. They have like a walnut crust. But I saw the pumpkin pie spice one, and I was like, yes, please. Oh, and then I got um, some yellow cake mix, um, the Swerve Sweets cake mix. So I'm going to be baking something hopefully next week. And I think this will last. I was looking for an extra week. Good before August of 22. So I'll be doing something with some of that stuff. And then I went, um, I popped over to GNC. They had everything that I actually went in to look for couldn't believe it so they had the newer um cherry slush alani new i picked up two of those and then the witch's brew that came out for halloween i think this is supposed to taste like a caramel apple i picked up two of those they actually had the quest pumpkin pie bars so excited picked up two of those and then they carry the i guess they call these bear bells or barbells barbells but i picked up two of the 
caramel and cashew they had another one but i was like uh, i want to try these ones first um i have my friend beth was this caramel and cashew one so that's everything that i got i have cleaned i've done yard work i've relaxed some i ate my bar and it's 155 and my stomach is actually growling so i need to eat something and we'll see what that is here in a second here is my dinner. I did three and a half ounces of the chicken sausage, three fourths cup of Brussels sprouts, and three fourths cup of butternut squash. I am drinking some uh, Mountain Dew Zero now. I don't know if I'm gonna have any dessert or anything. I'm hungry. I'm eating a little early, um, just because Ian's staying with Grandma until Daddy gets off work, and he's just gonna pick him up on the way home. It's a few minutes before four, so I may, this may be it, this may not be. And I know I like put it all into three containers, but I'm I'm kind of still trying to weigh everything out. This is so delicious. So literally, <clears throat> I'm sitting at the computer working and having dinner. I know, I know, but this is so good and I think the next time I make it I'm gonna put carrots in it and like the flavor everything is so so delicious so if you want to see me make this it'll be in my last video I uploaded where I did like the sheet pan chicken sausage um dinner food prep video this is so good maple sausage butternut squash Yum. Later, and I still, I'm, I'm, I need more calories. I'm trying to at least hit a thousand calories today. The dinner was very low calorie. Um. So I have these Rebel ice cream sandwiches. I have this one, which is like chocolate mint, and then I have the peanut butter one. I haven't tried this one yet. I tried the peanut. Oh, that looks. Oh, it's missing some of the cookie, but it's like chocolate chip with chocolate um, cookie, and it works in with my calories and you know, my carbs, so I'm going to eat this, and that's going to be it for today, but it looks delicious. All right, here is my breakfast. I made a shake, um, Shakeology. I emptied some packets in here and I used, uh, I don't remember how much I used, but like almost an ounce, um, which isn't a whole packet, it's actually less. I used that, I used half of a banana. I used the peanut butter powder by um, PB Fit, some almond milk and some spinach. And this is actually really, really good. So this is my uh, breakfast lunch today. This is dinner tonight. It is just some of the Tattooed Chef Riced Cauliflower, um, like stir fry. I got some steak meat in here. And then I'm gonna use my Jihu's uh, teriyaki. I don't know if I'm gonna fry up some egg. I might, like when this is almost done, I might fry up some egg in here, but this is dinner. All right, I'm going to attempt to eat all of this because even all of this is still under a thousand calories, but I'm over my net carbs that I want for the day by a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything else, but this is the cauliflower and beef stir fry with the um, G. Hughes 
teriyaki don't mind i'm a messy cook today <laughs> but this is supper good morning it is tuesday and i'm gonna show you guys the backfield is completely full of fog it's so pretty there we go oh it is 6 30 I need to wake up Ian for school, but I had to show you guys this really pretty fog. Seth and I stopped at Five Guys for lunch and I had a lettuce, bacon, little burger with just a little bit of fries and ketchup with Diet Coke. And then we moved right on to Costco and we actually bit the bullet and got a membership today. We primarily wanted to go to pick up some steaks, but I did a sneaky browse around and saw so many exciting, fun things. And I picked up a few things as well, but I definitely love Costco and I think we just prefer it over Sam's to be honest so Costco is what we chose to keep doing look at that right, that is it's insane $185 for that is crazy no it's not <laughs> it's not this is what we have so far so we are home from Costco and we didn't get a whole lot, but pretty much everything that we got was the necessity. We went ahead and got our bags of ruffles. These are huge bags. Seth and Ian really love the ruffles. We got some of the um, King's Hawaiian little rolls. This is a twin pack. I'll use these for the boys' lunch and then, you know, nibbling on and such. I probably won't eat these trying to be good, trying to do my thing, the keto low carb. We um, uncured Buck Four's ham for Seth. This was a really, really good price. This was $10 for almost two pounds. So it was a really, really good price on that. They had the grilled Mediterranean style chicken skewers. I wanted to get these just for kind of quick lunches and dinners for me steak so we're gonna grill tonight i was gonna make um homemade pizzas for the boys and do one of the real good meals um for me but we're just gonna go ahead and have steak two milks for the boys a really big bag of brussels sprouts because brussels sprouts are delicious two dozen of eggs picked up some raspberries some blueberries and then some grapes for the boys I, do, I really don't eat grapes because they are just sugar bombs. Um, and that is everything that we got at Costco. And I will show you guys dinner later on. Look at these. These look so delicious. So I'm going through some things. And I was going to put our... This is my fault. I was going to put our ruffles away. And I found this bag that went off already like seven days ago i'm not even kidding um i had opened it and i had about 10 chips to try they're still good so we're gonna eat on these as much as we can i cannot believe that i forgot about these i'm going to start cutting up one of these onions for dinner i'm gonna need to, i'm gonna weigh out some bananas like pre-weigh out some of these really ripe bananas freeze them and prep them for smoothies so but yes, 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 we're going to have steak tonight, and I'm so ready. I have some onions sauteing and some butter. And I'm going to add mushrooms for me. And then just having potatoes. And I don't know what Ian's going to eat yet, because he won't eat steak. But this is dinner. And then I'm going to add, obviously, um, the stuff. Like, this is the stuff right here. I need, I need foil. All right. Now you're just being a goon. <gasps> Don't shoot my Birkenstocks. Okay. <gasps> mm. 
and this was dinner tonight the steak and look at how that is cooked it is so good looking and let me tell you what this was delicious and then i used some of my g hughes steak sauce bon appetit good morning and wednesday today's wednesday yes happy wednesday i am starting my day I have successfully fasted for the last couple of days, at least 16 hours. <clears throat> Today was almost 16 and a half. But I made a breakfast scramble with two pieces of American cheese, three eggs, um, about an ounce and a half of turkey sausage, and an ounce of orange pepper and an ounce of red pepper. To my last um, Love and Fresh keto bagel from Aldi with some butter and some blackberries. This is going to be breakfast today. <laughs> this is lunch. <laughs> Stuff is beautiful. <laughs> Go away. So for dinner tonight, I am going to um, heat up the meal prep that I did. I'm also adding some carrots. In here just a little bit and then I also I air fried the carrots a little bit just cook them a little and then I air fried some broccoli that I was gonna mix in here too but I'm eating I keep eating the broccoli so I don't know if this is gonna actually work but I have weighed everything out um, so yeah I think just the carrots in here because I'm gonna eat this while I wait 